All right, hi, I'm Travis Mueller with Webster Coast Fire Department. In today's edition of What Do You Know? We're gonna talk about the allergic reaction protocol for SSM 2020. So to start out, there's uh, two different cases for allergic reaction. You have mild and severe. Mild is generally just uh, uh, itching, a little bit of rashes, things like that. Uh, severe, you're gonna have more of uh, the breathing problems, severe rashes, and uh, nausea and vomiting. So start out with mild. Uh, your primary medication for mild is going to be Benadryl. The dose for that is 50 milligrams per or per dose. Um, our vials come 50 milligrams and one ml, uh, so it's perfect. You, the the vial is one dose. Um, that's going to be given. Uh, you can give that IV or IM. All right, and then moving on to um, the severe cases, the first thing you want to do is give epi. It's the most important. You don't want to delay giving epi for any reason. If they have an auto ejector that is not expire that is the preferred thing to do uh, if they do not then you want to give epi 1 to 1000 the dose for that is 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams um, ours come in one milligram per one ml so it's not going to be the whole vial um, the best way to give this is to use a one mil syringe that way the milliliters is actually corresponding with your doses due to it being one milligram per one ml so if you want to give 0.5, you literally can just draw up to the 0.5 and that's going to be the proper dose. Now, uh, there are, re there are uh, reasons where you could have a different dose. That would be if the patient is greater than 50 year old and has some kind of cardiac history or is on beta blockers, then you want to half the dose to 0.15 milligrams. This is also true if they have a heart rate that is greater than 150. Also keep in mind when you're giving epi to elderly pa patients, you wanna make sure that you do a 12 lead at some point. Um, do not delay care to give a 12 lead, just do that at some point. Um, so the, uh, the way to give this epi is you wanna take the vial, you wanna do a swirling motion like this, and it gets all of the fluid out of the top of the, the vial. Then you wanna take a, four, or a two by two, and you actually break off the top of that, okay? Next, you wanna use a filter needle to draw this up, you take this and you turn it upside down and see how the, the fluid stays in there. Stick the needle up and you just draw up however much that you are wanting. All right. Once you've drawn up the appropriate dose, you wanna take the filter needle off and place a, a, di a different needle on it to give it IM. You give your IM dose, um, this can be repeated after five minutes if the symptoms uh, do not improve. Um, while you're waiting for that five minutes to pass, uh, you can move on to the protocol to give different drugs. The next one is going to be your albuterol. Uh, the dose for this is five milligrams. These come in 2.5 milligrams. So it's actually gonna be two of these things to give as a breathing treatment for the dose. You can also put 0.5 milligrams of ibuprofen in there to uh, help, uh, help the patient a little more. Uh, this can be repeated up to three times if needed. All right, and then the next thing is you move on to famotidine, which is also known as Pepsid. Uh, the dose for this is 20 milligrams given over two minutes. So that's why they come with um, these saline vials. <clears throat> this is why they come with these saline vials. You can use these, or you can also use a flush to dilute it down into a larger, um, volume that way it's easier to give over the two minutes all right and then the last thing you want to give is your solumedrol uh, you're not going to see this take effect for about two to six hours but it is important to give it as soon as you can that way it starts helping that much sooner um, this is going to be an iv dose of 125 milligrams um, and that's get, like i said that's given iv all right so just to review your drugs you're given a allergic reaction for mild, you give Benadryl, 50 milligrams, IV, IO, or IM. If they are severe symptoms, you give Epi, so to recap, IM. For a mild allergic reaction, your dose is going to be 50 milligrams of Benadryl, IV, IO, or IM. If the case is severe, you want to start with Epi, 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams IM. Then you'll move on to Benadryl. Again, the same dose is 50 milligrams. After that, you wanna give a breathing treatment of albuterol, a dose of five milligrams. You could also put in 0.5 milligrams of ibuprofen bromide. 
Next, you're gonna move on to the Pepsid of 20 milligrams over two minutes. And then the last drug you can give is Solumedrol of 125 milligrams. So this has been today's edition of What Do You Know? If you didn't know before, now you do.